Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positive Lead Diagnostics. Today we're working on a 2011 Nissan Sentra with a two liter. A um, little bit of history on the vehicle. A few months ago, the check engine light was on. I scanned the car. P0101 mass airflow fault. And there is an ECM reprogram for that. At the time, I didn't have a J box. Now I do. Um, in between that time period, the customer said the car started stalling. And when you look at the bulletin, it just says no drivability concerns and just, you know, the mass airflow fault. So we scanned the car and it has the PO101 mass airflow fault and now it has a bank one sensor one circuit low fault. So I just took a quick peek and uh, this is for anyone who, you know, may be experiencing some stalling, but uh, I'll show you what we found. So this is just from a quick visual. The intake tube is torn, so this is an air leak. And the mass airflow sits right here. So you have this unmetered air leak. So just really quick, it's just a visual check. Torn intake boot. So now we're gonna do the reprogram. And I wanted to take you there with me. These were the faults. Caused by a torn intake boot. So first things first, uh, doing the programming, uh, the cooling fans might come on. So I unplug them. I have a battery maintainer on the car. No accessories are on. And we already have the calibration file downloaded, purchased. So here is our ECM part number, the 9AB3A. So this is highlighted in the bulletin. The 9AB3A is one that can be updated. All right guys, this is the J2534 reprogramming tab on the NEARS website. This is where you're gonna type your ECM part number in and it's going to give you the calibration file that you download you have to purchase it here and then you have to extract the files and put them into a certain folder there's a PDF you need to read that PDF alright guys so once you have your file downloaded and put into the right folder you're going to open up NEARS It's going to give you some conditions. We're using the Cardac Plus 2. It's giving you some info on your J box there. We're going to do reprogramming engine. And then you have to pick your part number of your ECM. So here's our part number. And we're going to click next. There it gives us part numbers, new file, file size, battery voltage, and now we're going to start the update. All right, so right here is where I about crap my pants. And it said ECU files rejected, conditions were not met, ECU may be recovered, please check conditions and battery voltage. And I'm like, dude, what the heck? I got my maintainer on, my voltage was 14.1. Maybe it's just a fluke, let's retry it. 
So then right here you have to go through and pick your part number again. There it shows my part numbers again, my battery voltage, 14.1, start the program again. So at this point, I'm super nervous. I'm like, what did I do wrong? ECU file rejected again. Conditions were not met. ECU may be recovered. Please check conditions. I'm like, dude, this sucks. Am I putting an ECM in this car? What did I do wrong? I'm like, dude. Retry it again? What, what is happening? Once again, you have to go through and pick your part number. Let's click my part number again. And at this point, I'm like, okay, am I missing something here? Did I download the file right? What what did I do? I start thinking it's it's telling me to check my conditions, it's telling me to check my battery voltage. So I start looking at accessories again and making sure I got everything off and I noticed the blower motor, it's really stupid of me, I noticed the blower motor was on the lowest setting so low I never heard it and it was totally my fault. So notice my battery voltage now 14.2 after I turned the blower off and I redo the update and it starts going through. And I'm sweating bullets at this point. But it made it past 95%, so I think we're in the clear. So now it tells you to turn the ignition off for a minute and then after a minute you turn the ignition back on and then you click OK and you have 20 minutes to click OK on this screen. So we click OK. Tells us our ECM programming is complete. There's the old part number, the new part number. And I am feeling super relieved. And then you can hit end and you're done. And now what we need to do is the idle air volume learn and the closed throttle position learn. All right guys, so the flash went through. So now we're gonna go into our ECM, see if our codes are there. No codes. Now we will go to functional tests and we need to do an idle air volume learn. Continue. Make sure the accelerator pedal is fully released. So ignition on for two seconds, ignition off for 10. Hit 
continue. Now I'll perform the throttle valve close position learning. Make sure the accelerator pedal is fully released. I'm not touching it. Switch ignition on. Turn it off for 10 seconds. And I couldn't hear anything so loud in the shop, but continue. Okay, so make sure all the conditions are met. <clears throat> Battery voltage 12.9, engine coolant temp 70. All right, so we got to get it up to operating temp. Uh, gear selector in park. Transmission warmed up, steering wheel straight ahead. So. So we'll let it warm up right now. All right, guys, so she is warmed up. Hit continue. Select continue. Wait for it to complete. Test complete. back should be no codes rpm too high so we can clear that Let's see what our rpm is I'm pretty sure it should be 650. Give or take 50. Let's see our codes. No codes now. So let's cycle this off. So we're about 700, 713. I'm pretty sure the spec was like 650 plus 50 RPM. So 700 looks pretty good. So that fault probably was from it running before we actually did the volume learn. So we'll let it run here. Make sure no faults come back. Okay guys, so the car's idling good. Idle air volume learn went through. And it also did, I think before that, the throttle close position. Uh, a little scary with the ECU file being rejected, conditions not met. And this being my first one, I was like, oh man. So it was just the blower motor was on low. It was my fault. In the beginning, it tells you, make sure all the accessories are off. So that's how you reprogram an ECM. It is the P0101 mass airflow. ECM reprogram and then the idle air volume learn and the throttle close position relearn after that's all done and if you got a stalling concern check that intake boot so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching